Hello and welcome to Mr Barton's web whiz video number 26 where once again I take you on a very quick tour through some of my favourite mathematical websites. Now one of the very first web whiz videos that I recorded was all about the number loving maths blog and that blog remains to this day one of my all time number one sources of the latest maths news and ideas. Well, not content with conquering the world of blogging, Sharon and Laura, the creators of the Number Loving Maths blog, have gone one step further and created a resource website, and it is absolutely phenomenal. So let's find it if we just Google Number Loving. Now, you've got to be careful which one you go to here. Numberloving.com is the maths blog, and if you scroll down, numberloving.co.uk is the resource site. And here it is here, a lovely purple uh, Cabri-style theme running through it. And if we click there, Math Resources, here we go. Now, the first thing I love about this is how simply it is laid out. Uh, you just search by key stage, and then by strand, and then by topic. But better than that is the range and quality of resources on here. Uh, you're not going to find many boring PowerPoints and worksheets, but you are going to find mysteries, treasure hunts, top trumps cards, and stuff like that. So let's take a look. Uh, if I go key stage three, and I go strand, geometry, and measures, I can refine by topic, but just for this, um, I'm just going to search by all, and I'm going to click go. Now, firstly, look at the amount of stuff that you've got on there. And as I scroll down, just look at some of the names of some of these things. Treasure hunts mysteries, tarsias, collective memories, all sorts going on. So what I've done is I've just picked out five of these resources that I think illustrate the breadth and quality that there is available on this website. So the first one is this Pythagoras uh, treasure hunt. If you just click on that, it gives you a lovely little uh, description of it so you know what you're getting before you download, and then you click there to download it. Now I did a little training session for our maths, uh, our maths department last week where I showed some of these treasure hunts, and the department has gone treasure hunt mad uh, the treasure hunts going left going on left right and center within school and outside of school sticking them around the yard on windows and so on and the kids are loving them so if i just uh, i've already downloaded this one here there it is and um, absolutely fantastic these uh, these treasure hunts you just uh, cut out the cards stick them around the classroom or as i've said uh, around the school works really well or in the gym or something like that and the kids have to try and match up the question to the answer and complete the cycle uh, these also work very well as kind of card sort activities if you want to get kids working in groups and there's absolutely loads of these treasure hunts um, on the website so fantastic there that's that's number one but not content with that the next one we're going to have a look at is down here i think converting metric measures top trumps now when you say converting metric measures i'm falling asleep just thinking about it but with these kind of resources uh, the kids will be absolutely loving it so if you just download that one i've done it here i think Oh, hello, there he goes. Cut those out, uh, get them laminated if you can, and the kids play a game of Chop Trumps. So um, they have got to try and beat the other person in that category. So if you're Justin Bieber, uh, you'll say, I've got an agility of 12 meters in centimeters. That needs converting. Is that better than Cowell's agility? Well, he's got two centimeters in millimeters, and so on. So the kids play a game there. Absolutely excellent. Um, and again, what's really nice about these is they're leveled. So the green ones will be harder. Uh, they're your kind of middle ones and your reds are your easy ones. So there's something to spice up that absolutely painful topic. Uh, the next thing that caught my eye, if I just find it down here, hopefully, is describe and draw Kagan activity. Now, I'm a big fan of spicing up group work and I like to go down the Kagan route every now and again. So this is all about construction and loci and back-to-back -back drawings. If I just fire it up, there it is. And this works really well with uh, students having to use mathematical words to describe something and uh, describe to their partner who then has to try and recreate it. And it's really nice get some using the right vocabulary and all sorts. And it's a fun activity that kids absolutely love. So that's brilliant as well. But again, we're not finished there. Two more to go. Uh, next one I've got on my list here is Circle Theorem Collective Memory. Now, any of you who've ever been to one of my talks or visited my website will know I'm absolutely obsessed with collective memories. I think they're fantastic. Again, a lovely little description. This is a fantastic one on circle theorems. Flash that up on the board. Get the kids trying to remember as much as they can. Do it three times. And before you know it, you've got a lovely set of notes all about circle theorems. Um, absolutely fantastic. Love collective memories and there's some really high quality ones on this website and finally before I shut up and let you have a go on this website yourself 
the final one I wanted to look at is area and perimeter mysteries. Now mysteries are absolutely brilliant resources, but they're like gold dust. They're so hard to get hold of, and you end up sometimes having to pay a fortune to buy them in book form or something like that. Well, there's loads of them on here. If I just show you how these work, um, get sorry, photocopy the uh, the sheet, get those cut up into cards, get the students into groups of two or three or four, something like that, and see if they can solve the mystery. It gets them uh, working on literacy because they've got to read and interpret, logical thinking, group work, everything's involved. And again, that's just one of the resources that's on there. Um, I cannot emphasize how good a resource website this is. I'm slightly annoyed because it's better than mine, um, but and I think it's only going to kind of grow and grow um, as it goes. So number loving website and also check out the number loving blog because um, together you've got a complete package there. And that's why this is this week's WebWiz video of the week. Um, I'm off to cry because my resource website isn't quite up to this scrap, uh, up to this standard. And I'll be back with another WebWiz video next week. Bye for now.